Jacqueline, thank you for your time. You've got a background in information engineering, but you work in the world of sales and business development. How does your education in information engineering have an influence on your sales and marketing activity? I think the background of the engineering experience can help me to keep the understanding of our customers' real requirement. So it benefits me a lot to keep understanding, to keep, keep close to touch with all the customers in the cloud area. And because this kind of background, I can uh, understand more knowledge plus the technology together to help all my different customers in verticals. So this kind of background benefits me a lot to provide the suitable solution and hear more voice, more clear requirement from my customers. So it's actually a perfect background in that case. But the Huawei Cloud division has grown substantially under your leadership. What have been the success factors behind that? Uh, to be honest, Huawei Cloud is still... Uh, a uh, small business of Huawei. Uh, we keep very cloud, we are very fast uh, increasing rate uh, recent years, but uh, we still need to get more market share and provide more suitable and valuable solution to our customers. I think in the past years, yes, we, we, we did good performance for the marketing share increment, for the, uh, for more trusted customers to select us. What's the key reason of that? I believe uh, it will be introduced in three parts. First, we keep to provide the most cutting-edge technologies to the world, to all our customers. Every year, we invest a lot in R&D part to guarantee the innovative capabilities of ourselves. So on Huawei Cloud, we can provide the comprehensive, the most advanced new technologies. This kind of te technologies can help our customers finding a better option in the world. So I think this is a key reason, one of the key reasons for us for this kind of uh, rapid, rapid increment of our business. Then the second uh, advantage is our strong local support. We built a very strong local team uh, in many countries. So we can help all our customers to keep their understanding of the business of cloud technologies. So it's very necessary for the tier one players in verticals. They need not only the technology, but also the strong local support team. I think maybe some other reasons is about an open ecosystem. Our cloud is always hope to build the open ecosystem to help more and more countries building their own local environment, local ecosystem. So on Huawei Cloud, you can see very clear uh, strategy about this kind of uh, ecosystem development. We released a lot of program to help all our local customers and partners building their own ecosystem. We help to share more opportunities, transfer more knowledge, and help to train more local talents by steps. So I think that's a key reason for Huawei Cloud to win the, uh, win more new business globally. Mm. We saw the impact of that in the presentations in the uh, Cloud Summit and how Huawei has expanded globally and is number one in several markets. What is the key strategy behind that? But also what are the strategies that will help you with your global growth? I think uh, Huawei Cloud keep a very clear strategy for global because we hope to provide the seamless access, the seamless uh, business everywhere. Yeah, so we uh, be, we have a plan named Coolworth. That means we will build a global level uh, seamless network to connect, to access all our distinguished customers. So based on this kind of plan, we built many new regions in different countries. Uh, South Africa is one of the first, one of the earliest region globally. We also new launched many new regions in uh, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Turkey, uh, uh, Tunis, uh, just like this kind of countries. So we have a very clear strategy for global. Then our strategy is global, 
but uh, localized. Local. That means we provide global strategy, but we will localize uh, uh, many countries to provide the better local services. Mm. So based on this kind of uh, vision and and uh, dream, we uh, expand our business globally by steps. Mm. But we hope to be a, a international head scaler, global head scaler, so we can uh, share all the. Uh, advanced technology, all the experience, all the dig digital transformation uh, practices to our customers. On that note, you're up against the big names like uh, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Oracle Cloud, Google Cloud. How do you compete with them? <laughs> it's a good question. Uh, I think every cloud, uh, they will have their unique value to the world. Uh, several years ago, when we decided to start our journey in cloud area, we ever ask the same question internally. What's the unique value we can bring to the market? Why Huawei Cloud? I think um, Huawei Cloud, they play a very important role in the uh, cloud journey because we hope to provide a better option to our customers. So from the technology perspective, we will try our best to, to drive the whole digital transformation journey. Mm -hmm. We will try our best to provide a better option. For example, the uh, cloud computing, cloud storage, the data solution, AI solution, etc. Now our capability increase very fast to satisfy the different requirements from different markets. Then I think uh, another uh, unique value is about experience, expertise as a service. Uh, as we know, in the past 30 years, we have many uh, uh, story happened in China first. China developed the internet industry very fast and uh, get a very wonderful result. Now, if you visit China, you can enjoy many kinds of applications online. The e-commerce, the feed tech, online education, online food delivery, online taxi. We have many, many kinds of new applications. So these kind of expertise should be a service, a kind of service on Huawei mm. Cloud. Mm. We hope to share all these kind of experience to different customers so we can help them to shorten the time to understand and master so complicated cloud technologies. But this story only happened in some dedicated country, in some dedicated industries. We hope to share. So share, open is uh, that's the, 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 the slogan of Huawei Cloud. Mm -hmm. so I think it will bring some unique value to the world. Then the third uh, opinion of, uh, of mine, I think uh, we don't consider our target uh, shall be number one or number two in the world. I prefer to provide more value to our customers. Mm -hmm. So I care a lot about the real value we can bring to the industries, we can bring to the country and the enterprise customers. It doesn't matter, number one or number two, because if more and more customers trust us and select us, if they consider Huawei Cloud can provide more suitable solution to them, if they consider we can accompany with them to design and realize the digital target by steps, I think that will be the best reward of us to start the cloud business. How will all of us look in South Africa? Ah, I very love this uh, country. I very love the flower outside. I also very love the diversity culture of this country. In South Africa, if you want to, uh, if you want to start your new journey, if you can bring more value to the local market, they will be welcome every investors and every players working together. So yeah. it's a real open and diversity environment for the world. So, so does that change the way you position yourself in this market? Uh, I think in this market, we need to share more. For, uh, to be honest, uh, for the cloud and AI technologies, even uh, we already uh, uh, provide service for more than five years. Even many have scalars already done here on the same stage, but we still can see um, the, the whole country need more clear cloud and AI strategies. We, see, we still can see more and more enterprises. They are willing to understand the new technologies, to get this kind of skills. So I think we need to do more.
yeah, we need to accelerate all the digital process with our customer and the partners. Mm. Yeah. What exciting technologies is Huawei Cloud working on, especially in AI, but also in cloud in general? I, I think on Huawei Cloud, we can see many exciting new uh, capabilities, new services. I can share something to you. For example, the big data. In the past years, even we have many data, but that's, that's all kind of, all like a kind of silo. So we cannot uh, digitalize the all available data, but now we can provide the unified data lake. So everybody can collect the data end to end and save them together. So we can provide this kind of platform for manage, manage and operate the data. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, we can also can provide a new kind of distributed cloud-based database. This kind of database can help all our customers to get a better user experience because it can shorten the, low latency, shorten the latency by this kind of new architectures. Then we also can provide the, the AI capabilities uh, just like the Pango Foundation model, AI development pipeline. In addition, you can see we can provide many interesting media new solutions. Digital avatar, maybe later, next time when you visit China, I can help you to make a digital avatar for you. Then you can speak Chinese, English, any kind of language. So it is very exciting new technologies uh, happening on Huawei Cloud. Can you just uh, tell us a little more about what we can expect next from Pangu? Because what they're doing in weather forecasting is very exciting. Can we expect to see that in many other sectors and are there specific examples? Of course, we already plan to provide many different Pangu Foundation models in verticals. Uh, the weather cluster is just one part of Pangu Foundation model. Pangu Foundation model now can provide many different models for financial departments, telcos, the governments, mining industries, transportation, and many, many different vertical uh, uh, industries. Because we need to know how to bundle the industry knowledge plus knowledge together. That's why we provide this kind of capabilities by steps. We need to find some customers who own the real senior experts, who own the real uh, industry knowledge. Mm. So it's a kind of a combination between the industry knowledge and technology together. Mm. That's why you can see different year Huawei Cloud will announce some new foundation model with our customer and partners in different verticals. We need to learn, we need to improve our capabilities, we need to find the suitable senior experts, we need to understand the industry knowledge. On that note, how do you expect to redefine in industry sectors with your various technologies? Uh, I think most of the uh, the most important thing will be the mindset. Yeah, I, I shared uh, on the keynote. Sometimes if we want to redesign something, we need to change the mindset first. So I always like to share my opinion about the value of digital transformation. If we can let more people know the real value of digital, we can find more customers and partners uh, uh, working together. So we hope we can help to uh, rebuild and change the mindset first. Mm -hmm. Then based on this kind of new mindset, we hope to share our internal experience to help more and more customers understanding the real journey for digital. So now we are on the way to share all our experience, all our internal practices to public. So we will try our best to share more on our cloud. Then I think later we need to help all different customers to design their own approach. Because for different customers, they are in different stage. They will face different challenges and opportunities. So we hope we can work with them to find the best way towarding the target. Then we will try our best to do that. Then working with our partners to, to provide the the end-to-end -end solution, not only the, uh, the, the platform, not only for the cloud. The customer need a total solution to satisfy the different scenarios requirement. And so in my mind, 
um, AI will bring more values to the country. New technology will bring more uh, opportunities to the country. But we still need to share more uh, successful case to share more um, idea to change the mindset. Then from the strategy to the re reality, it will be more easy than before. And on that note, what trends do you expect to reshape the cloud in the coming years? And what role will Huawei Cloud play in those trends? Uh, AI will reshape the cloud in the next decade. We see very clear strategy of AI because we already um, keep deep understanding of the real value of AI. So even internally, Huawei Cloud wants to reshape all our cloud business by AI. AI is not only a kind of uh, independent cloud service on Huawei Cloud. Mm -hmm. It will be the core to reshape everything internally. So you can see later our big data, database, media solutions all be designed by AI. So mm -hmm. that will be the fundamental part and the core part to reshape everything. Then I think Cloud and AI will reshape almost all the industries. So it's very clear for most of the industries, they need to embrace AI and cloud technologies. Then they can reshape their processes, their digital assets, and their operating and business models by staff. So AI and the cloud will reshape almost all the key competitiveness, key productivity of the different industries. Yeah. That's fascinating. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you so much.